the liver actually is the second largest organ in the body after the skin if we would make ourselves think of the skin as an organ so as far as far as thinking of internal organs the liver is by far the largest uh, it's a crucial organ you can't live without it you can't live without your heart you can't live without your liver you can live without a kidney uh, maybe with pancreas but you can't live without your liver the liver um, in a way is has multiple functions but it serves to detoxify um, substances that come from our intestinal tract as we digest uh, it also is involved in building building blocks for the body uh, metabolically uh, so very very complex it's kind of a powerhouse it, if you will, of the body. The liver center sort of implies that it's a, it's a physical place and a location, whereas uh, it's really not. It's actually more uh, a concept of a, of a team-based approach to uh, care for a problem. And so the liver center obviously is focused on care of patients with liver problems and liver disease. We like patients to feel comfortable. Um, a lot of times patients with hep C come in with a stigma and we pass no judgment on anyone. We're here to help them. We have wonderful staff that's very encouraging and we can get them through all, all the steps of the process. Unfortunately, there are many diseases that can affect the liver. Um, I think most people equate liver disease with alcohol-related toxicity with alcohol being considered a toxin. But there are little, literally dozens of diseases that can affect the liver. From uh, issues like viral hepatitis and hepatitis B and C, to fatty liver disease, to uh, really a multitude of other problems that can affect the liver. It is an area of high need in Rhode Island, I've found. Um, I've practiced in downtown Detroit, I've practiced in downtown Chicago, and I can say that I've probably seen more hepatitis C here than I have in either of those uh, places. It's a problem that, that Rhode Island has that is fixable, um, but being able to have a liver center where we've got multiple sites that we can practice, where we've got expertise, where we've got uh, cutting edge research. Well, we have a lot of experience, so patients come in and ask, you know, these are new drugs just approved by the FDA, how do you know they work? Um, we've been using them for five years, probably before they even are available to the general public, so we know how they work. How, um, how they're appropriate for certain populations of patients, what side effects they have, what their efficacy is, what the long-term data has shown from patients that were treated in clinical trials so we can provide this information and make the patient feel comfortable about going on these new medications. They're new in the sense, but they're, they're not new to us. We provide a team-focused approach where we're applying cutting-edge technology uh, evidence-based top-line care and applying some new clinical research to problems that, that are difficult to treat.